I've come to the Monroe Meyer Institute in the University of Nebraska Medical Center here in Omaha to hear about some important new research on developmental cascades. That is the interplay between motor and cognitive development. This research is happening not only here in Omaha, but at five other centers of excellence throughout America. Childhood developmental specialist in various areas came together and created this idea with the thought that sitting and reaching create developmental cascades, which creates greater opportunities for learning. Start Play stands for sitting together and reaching to play, and it is specifically for infants between the ages of 8 and 24 months who are just learning to sit and are starting to reach. Um, so we were targeting a very specific developmental stage with the idea that sitting and reaching are fundamental to early learning. And so Start Play blends cognitive and motor skills to advance kids in both areas. We wanted to know whether um, changes in infants' perceptual motor skills, so uh, like their sitting, reaching, fine motor skills, motor-based problem solving, we wanted to know if changes in those skills would predict changes in their subsequent um, cognitive development. So in this study, we um, tested a few pathways. So first we looked at whether um, short-term or pre to post changes in infants' perceptual motor skills predicted their uh, subsequent changes in cognitive development uh, in the following nine months. And then further, we looked at whether start play indirectly impacts infants' cognitive skills through these short-term changes. So in the first study, um, which was completed last year, what we looked at was start play in addition to usual care therapy and compared it to children who just got usual care therapy. And so we couldn't say at the end of the study, while it showed that kids with significant impairments had greater gains in cognition, we couldn't say if it wasn't related to just additional therapy or if it was related to the content, the, the idea of blending motor and um, cognitive together. So this second trial is dose match, which means that both groups re receive the same amount of therapy, but the content is different. One, in one group, the content, we call it more PT, is, is about what we saw was usual care early intervention, more motor focused. And the other group was, is the start play group, which blends motor and cognitive during a treatment session. We test the kids five times across the year. Uh, so we, we test them using the standardized measures for test this perception of motor skills. So we have a consistent, accurate way to measure changes. We know a lot of like from development work that this early reaching and seating skills can impact problem solving and that it can impact cognition. So they propose this intervention, not just focus on motor, but also focus on cognitive constructs. So this intervention has a lot of like key ingredients that brings that and also brings uh, providing just cha a right challenge for kids with motor delays. So we had a, a already, we test that and start play work it for children with significant motor delays. So instead of like working, for example, sitting alone or reaching alone, we can propose some activities that we can incorporate cognitive constructs, for example, you're sitting and then you can try to reach for object that is at end of a towel, then you have like to get the towel, to get the toy. So incorporate some like cognitive constructs. It, it seems to me that you are actually making big progress on the cognitive side. Can you describe to me what might be happening there? You know, we don't know which, um, which intervention that he received, um, but I think the fact that he has learned to be able to move more freely and to have more control when he is seeing, sitting allows him to be able to play and do the things that he's motivated to do. He's very motivated to move and play. That's an innate drive I feel like that he's always had, so we're helping him to gain the strength to be able to do that. Crucial to making start to play work is the just right challenge. Now that's all about blending motor and cognitive activities for a particular child. 
it's a balance between how much do you challenge the child with motor tasks and how much do you challenge the child with cognitive tasks and you try to create a blend such that they aren't um, distracting from each other. So if you think about a baby having one bucket of resources and that's all their resources, if we tax them too much with their motor um, demands, they can't use their cognitive skills as much. Or if you tax them too much with their cognitive demands, you don't have as much access to your motor resources. So it's trying to balance the two such that both can work together. So keep in mind it's at the right time. So we're capturing kids when they're just starting to sit because we think sitting is one of the foundational skills because sitting changes the way you view the world and the way you interact with the world. It frees your hands to play. Um, so it has to be at the right time. It has to be the right approach, which means that you want to have a child-led, child-initiated, parent-engaged. What we found is that um, early changes in infants sitting, fine motor skills, and motor-based problem solving predicted later changes in the infant's cognitive development. Further, we found that um, start play indirectly impacted infant's cognitive development through its short-term impact on motor-based problem solving. We proved that maybe for the, the group that received the Star Play intervention had better problem-solving skills and that impact long-term eff like effects in cognition. So we should encourage clinicians to use this approach uh, to like not just focus on motor but also provide some challenge in, in cognition, so in implementing problem solving skills into the intervention and then could affect uh, cognition in at later ages. I think it's important to consider the child holistically, so to uh, brainstorm and implement activities that target multiple developmental domains, um, thinking about cognition and motor uh, you know equally giving equal emphasis to these. We knew that in physical, in early intervention, if you were being treated by a physical therapist, it was motor focused. So the way that you tackled the movement problem focused on things like alignment, range of motion, uh, posture, all those things that we're trained in fundamentally. And so this approach was saying, maybe we need to worry less about that and think more about how motor and cognition interact. How does motor support cognitive development? And how, so it goes back to that question, do you move to learn? or do you learn to move? And you can't separate those two out. You have to work them together. But Start Play showed that if you did an approach that prioritized cognition or blended cognition and motor into a just right challenge, you got cognitive gains significantly without sacrificing motor skills. So we weren't focusing on motor, we were blending motor and cognition. Saw the same gains in motor, but bigger gains in cognition. Whereas the group that had just motor focus, the usual care early intervention, they didn't have the same gains in cognition. They did have gains in motor. So you can get the motor when you work on motor, but you don't sacrifice the motor when you also work on cognition and motor together was the idea.